Hello everyone, Kristen Bosley here with this month's market update as it relates to September 2022. Last month was a real conundrum, no question about it. Uh, let's get right to the statistics so that we can understand what exactly is happening in our local markets. Turning to average price for the first time, we have really conflicting information. Year over year, we saw a decline in prices by 4.5%, and month over month, we saw a stabilization of prices clocking in at 0.75% uh, growth for an average price of 1038000 I suppose it really depends on your frame of mind on how you can view this. Uh, is the market bottoming out and are we starting to see things normalize or can we expect to continue seeing declines as we move forward? My gut is telling me the market has stabilized, our listings and our sales will be much more positive come October. However, let me tell you why. New listings in September were down 17% for a historic low of 11,237 new listings to market. The last time we saw that level of list listing activity was 2002. Same for our sales figures, which I will get to, okay? Realistically, folks, this is really not good, especially if you're looking to buy at some point in the next five years. The reality is we continue to have very low unemployment rates and of course, really high immigration rates and people must live somewhere. Couple these larger economic variables with of course the fact that the government regulations will be decreasing development in the city in addition to of course the supply chain issues that we continue to experience. If you think we have constrained supply now, just wait. Active listings, of course, as expected, were up 47.3% year over year. What's tough to decipher really is how many of those active listings or new listings were relists of properties that simply did not sell previously. I say this because the trends are quite clear. In the last three weeks, we've seen a real uptick of activity in the market. Buyers are buying product that does not need to be renovated, that really gears towards contemporary design, and of course, if you have good product to sell in this market, it's selling quickly. We're seeing minimal days on market. We're seeing really good sale to list ratios. And of course, in some instances, we are even experiencing multiple offers. So there is a strong market with good demand out there. Of course, interest rate hikes are going to come again at the end of the month. We will see how that impacts things as we move into the holiday season. Now, the number of sales were down 44.1%. People tend to focus on this number. Of course, this distracts from the historic lows of our listing numbers as well, okay? The reality is it's the lowest number of sales since 2002. And of course, referring back to my comments about Relist, my gut is telling me that sales were down because there simply was nothing to buy. Not a lot of good product out there in September. Historically speaking, we've seen proven cycles of really quick rebounds in our marketplace. The moment the Bank of Canada indicates that they are going to hold on any further rate increases, which is not right now, let's not sugarcoat it, but when they do, we expect buyers to be poised and ready to jump back into the marketplace. But the reality behind that is it will simply be too late. There are tons of opportunities in the marketplace now and really good opportunities for people to upsize or get into the market in general. Turning briefly to the rental market, it is absolute insanity in there. The prices have gone wild, the, you know, it's wild. I, I can't even say anything else, it's insane. So, while some buyers are opting to rent as a stopgap until the, until the market really normalizes, there was a really interesting article published in the Globe and Mail, a survey that was done with TD Bank and StatsCan that really showed the generational wealth difference of the baby boomer generation from home ownership to those who chose to rent. And right now, there is a discrepancy of over 200,000 for people who have owned houses versus those who chose to rent. And that discrepancy is only going to increase as the generations move further into home ownership and prices continue to increase. So I tell you this because we know there are many financially qualified buyers sitting on the sidelines right now. I'm not sure that it's the smartest decision moving into the long haul. If you're buying for a home, even if the prices go down another 10%, they're gonna skyrocket back up very quickly with the supply issues that we are going to continue having. As always, give us a call if you're interested in continuing the conversation. At Bosley, we have really seen the good, the bad, the ugly of every market since 1928. And of course, at the end of the day, a professional makes all the difference. 
call Bosley. We're here to help. Thanks so much. Bye for now.